Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Scarlet Spider issue 25, the last issue of this series. Um, and this series has been an up and down type of series. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's in the middle, so it's not, it's kind of all over the place sometimes. Uh, but let's see if the last issue, um, left us on a good note. But before I start talking about Scarlet Witch, I just want a Scarlet Spider, I don't know why I said Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Spider, I do want to give you guys a little update. Uh, of course I do have a topic video this week, but it wasn't today I posted it. I posted it a couple of days ago and that was my first screenplay so if you want to go check that out that'll be annotated and of course I have comic in episode 27 and that's show on Dark Avenger Inc where I review all the comics I read this week in one show and here are those exclusive comics for the show um we have The Amazing Spider-Man issue 700.4 Trish Out of Water issue 3 Daredevil issue 34 Forever Evil, Rogue's Rebellion, Issue 3. Animal Man, Issue 26. Batman and Two-Face, Issue 26. Green Lantern New Guardians, Issue 26. And that's it. So you can go check that out for Comic Uno, uh, Episode 27. And that will be annotated. But let's talk about Scarlet Spider, Issue 25. Um, I like the cover. Pretty cool cover. Um... The art's good. I don't know who actually does the cover art. Um, yeah, I don't know who it is. But uh, I do I do like the art. I think it's cool. You know, kind of generic, but it's... Scar is he Kane or is he Scarlet Spider? Is he a monster or is he a, a hero? And we, if we get that a little in this issue. Uh, but let's talk about this issue. What's going on with the story? Um, so in this issue, we get to see... Uh, Again, a lot of, actually, a lot of last issues, Vibe did the same thing. We get to see the present time and two weeks before. Two weeks before where we left off uh, from the last issue and present times, pretty much where Scarlet Spider is going. Uh, so Scarlet Spider, of course, is not a superhero. He goes to Mexico. Um, Arsley is actually with him, which I was very happy to see. We get to see more of Arsley, um, her saying, you should be a hero. Come on, it's not your fault what happened with Texas. And I think, you know, Arsley is some, someone that Kane needs right now. Uh, but Kane's just like, no, I'm not a superhero, I I'm Kane, you know, I don't know what I am, but I'm a monster. Uh, then we go back to what happened in Texas, um, he does save everybody from that explosion, uh, but to defeat that big monster, that phantom monster, he has to turn into that spider thing that was so annoying in that one story arc. He turns into a spider monster, and both, um, Wally and... Um, Annabelle said, yeah, you should go now. And, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm a monster, so I should go. So now, Ars uh, yeah, Arsley and Kane, they're laying on a beach, and they're like, what do we do now? And he's just like, I'm a monster. I am the Scarlet Spider, and I am a monster. And there's some red water there, so it seems like that's going to connect to uh, New Warriors, where we'll see Arsley and Scarlet Spider, hopefully in a really good direction. Um... This issue wasn't bad, but it was not good either. Now, first I just want to mention, uh, before I forget, um, even before I mention the story, there was a part here in this issue where it was very confusing. Um, we get to see Arsley, Arsley and Annabelle are falling out of a building. And he says, um, Kane says, Arsley's closest, then Wally. Arsley and Annabelle, they're too far away. So which one is it, guys? Is Arsley caught or is Arsley not caught? Uh, and it's in these word boxes that I think they made a screw up. It was like, Arsley, I, I grab her. Oh, no, wait, Arsley's there. Uh, so that was a little editing problem. And then we get to see in the art-wise, um, I think Arsley is talking to Kane. And I do want to show you guys this. She's talking to Kane. like, oh, we need to save Annabelle, whatever she does say. And she looks exactly like Annabelle. Um, she does, she says... Uh, whoa, Annabelle just punched. And that, that's what she says. And I really do want to get this picture. I don't know why I have this upside down. Um, so over here she looks exactly like Annabelle. Pink hair, everything. Short, pink hair. She's even wearing the same shirt. So obviously that's another editing problem. So overall there's a lot of editing problems in this issue. And those are just two I caught. 
Uh, so I just had to get that out first. I just had to say that. Um, but story overall, I kind of liked what they did where, um, you know, Kane's finally in Mexico. At least Arsley's there. They're trying to look for our parents. We still have no clue how, who the hell Arsley is. They should have gotten that over with in Scarlet Spider, but hopefully they talk about that more in New Warriors. But very upset they haven't encountered that story because that's a story that in the first issue we should have gotten done. Uh, so that happened. Um, the art's okay. You know, the art was okay here. I'll give it that. It's a little sketchy at times, but it's what we've been getting with Scarlet Spider. Um, but it's not a bad story. It's not. It's just, I hate the whole monster stuff we've been getting with Scarlet Spider. I'm a monster. Like, the worst part of what Scarlet Spider was was, I'm a monster. I am freaking emo, and I just love talking about that. And that's what we get here. And then we had that whole spider monster, and the people that he loves, he just kind of runs away from in the end. He's like, oh, well, bye. Bye. And then, like, you should go now. Like, what's the point of reading this whole series if pretty much all the supporting cast do doesn't like you anymore? And it seems like it wasn't any payoff because the end is like, all right, I tried, a fam I tried having family, friends, it didn't work. Now I know who I truly am. So it feels like you didn't have to read Scarlet Spider at all except to know who Arsley is, which I do like that Arsley was there. I thought she was the best part of this issue, honestly. Um, you know, I'm going to say the story was okay. It was. Um, I know I complained a lot about it. Um, it wasn't a bad story. Um, I was just kind of upset by it also. So I'm going to give it three stars. Definitely leaning more towards Don't Pick It Up. It's not a bad issue. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been Venom, honestly. Uh, it could have been that last issue. I, I thought about that. Uh, but there's a lot of things that happen here I, I didn't like um, story-wise. So I'm going to give it three stars. I'm being kind of generous with that. Um, I, I really did not like how they approached this last, uh, last issue. So... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I'm really hoping New Warriors kind of fix this story up, even though I think uh, Yost or Yost, however you pronounce his last name, um, is doing New Warriors. And I do like his writing. I do. And I really hope uh, we get to see a newer Scarlet Spider and newer Arsley. And hopefully we get Arsley's story finally. Um, yeah, so I was a little disappointed. I'm going to give it three stars, being generous. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Ryan Situations. And this was the last issue of Scarlet Spider, uh, until I guess we'll see Scarlet Spider with new warriors, and hopefully we'll get to see more of his interesting story. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys later.